I'm Ted Halbach. I'm an uh, instructor in the Department of Dairy Science at UW-Madison. And I'm at World Dairy Expo. And what I have behind me is a brown Swiss cow, about three years old. And we're going to teach Dairy Cattle Judging 101 to you today. The most important category is udder on the cow. And obviously, it's the working part of the cow. And our first point of reference is the hock. And what kind of udder clearance does the udder have, the floor of the udder, over the point of the hock? And our preference is for it to not go below this level. Dairy cows have large internal organs. Uh, there's this one stomach, but four compartments that you maybe heard about. And so all of that has to be en encased within a very big rib structure. And we want spacing of the rib, a slant to the rib, so it can house all those very important vital organs. Uh, the front end of the cow, the way she blends is evaluated, the width of her chest. And then on top of it, we also look you know, th this is a dairy cow, and dairy cows typically take the, the food that they have in, that they consume, and the dairy cow will want to convert that to milk versus putting it on their back. So a dairy cow, unlike a beef animal, will have more angular, or an angular appearance to them. So like, for example, a thigh will be lean and uncurving versus a beef animal who might have a rounded thigh. And uh, it's not unusual, and in fact, it'd be preferred to have the, the hip bones, the pin bones uh, be prominent and exposed, as, as would, should be the rib structure. And so we're looking for this animal who has a real angularity to her skeletal structure. Next structure on the dairy cow uh, scorecard, or major category, are the rear feet and legs. Modern dairy cattle have to be able to get up and down with ease. They have to be able to walk to and from milking parlors comfortably. And so a lot of stress actually can be put on the legs. And so the correct form of leg is very critical. The last major category or breakdown of the PDCA scorecard is what's called frame. And I have a cookie cutter outline here. and. I know that you might say, oh, that doesn't look like the cow necessarily behind us. But it, what I want to project to you is the message that it's, this frame category really is about the outline of the cow. And it's her skeletal outline. And so in, in our real cow, the most important trait that we look at is the rump. And the rump is associated with the calving function, the breeding function, and we want a rump that from the hooks to the pins has about an inch and a half slope to it. And we also want it wide between the pins. And we want the thorough, which is basically the same as our hip joint. We want that kind of in a 60-40 relationship so that the rear legs come out and stand underneath the cow.